Hello everyone. A very good afternoon guys. A very good afternoon. Guys, I welcome you all on the YouTube channel of GradeUp IAS. Myself, Abhishek Singh Rathor. And like every other week friends, here I am with the series of 1000 most important questions for art and culture. And it is the next part of the 10 questions. So friends, welcome to this session and I hope that all of you are doing really fine. So welcome everybody, quickly join the session guys, quickly join the session so that we can have the start of the session with a blast and make sure that as soon as you join the session, please share this session with all of your friends. Shweta Gautam, very good afternoon Shweta and uh, very good afternoon, welcome to the session and guys, before I proceed, I would like to tell you something about myself. My name is Abhishek Singh Rathor, as I just told to you. And as far as my qualifications are concerned, so I appeared uh, at, in the interview of the UPSC Civil Services Examination in 2013 and also for the mains in 2014 and 2018. All right. As far as the other exams are concerned, so I appeared for the Assistant Command and Examination in the Physical round, right? I qualified the written exams of both Assistant Commander and CDS in 2015 and FCAT in 2014. And dear friends, I have been teaching history and Indian polity since last three and a half years for the UPSC aspirants. So friends, I would like to tell you something very, very important, something very important to be shared with all of you that we have just a few days, right? You can see very clearly those who are preparing for the EPFO, they have left, they have just 78 days left from today onwards, including the today's time also, right? Similarly, in the UPSC Civil Services exam examination, 127 days are left, half of the today is gone, so you can count it to 126 also, and less than 500 days for the 2022. All right, guys? So I hope that you are keeping these timelines in your mind. And GradeUp is here to help you out in these timelines, guys, with a very exciting February Mela, which is available on the subscription of the GradeUp Super. And you can win all the beautiful prizes. All right. So, guys, before we start, don't forget to like, comment and share the session. And don't forget to subscribe our channel GradeUp IAS on YouTube. Okay, everybody. So, let's get started with the first question that is before you. And guys, Good afternoon, those who have joined, Shweta, Ranadeep, Karmakar, Afreen, everybody, please guys quickly share this session with all of your friends because we all know that notifications are not sent, all right? So you guys are the notifications, okay? You guys will be sending notification to your friends. Fata fat guys, share this, right? Sabke saath share kar dijiye apne telegram channel per, whatsapp per, youtube, jaha par bhi aap share kar sakte hain. And then let's get started with the first question. All right. So the first question says that <clears throat> terracotta seals, right, belonging to the Indus Valley civilization, have Bostrophedon writings. Okay, Bostrophedon writings. These seals had unique pictographic description of half man and half animal, half man and half animal. So which of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, both statements and none of the st statements are correct. All right, guys. So try to answer this question and uh, let us see who answers the correct one. Everyone. Afreen, uh, Hindi mein nahi padhate kya? Afreen, madam, I'm really sorry. Hindi mein, mein aapke liye padh deta hun, hai? But uh, this class is going to be conducted in English only. All right. So good afternoon, Rudra. Very good afternoon. Chandra, very good afternoon, everyone. So guys, quickly join the session, fatafat, right? Make sure that you all share this session in the telegram groups of all of your friends. Pragya Jadhav, very good afternoon, madam. So here is the question. As we all know that we will be having one minute to solve this one. All right. So Afreen, this is asking about the seals. Jo harap, uh, harappan civilization ke jo seals mile hai, unki baare mein question hai ye. कि इस पे एक बॉस्ट्रोफिडॉन तरीका होता है लिखने का वो मौजूद होता था ठीक है ना और दूसरा बोल रहा है स्टेटमेंट की इसमें पिक्टोग्राफिक डिस्क्रिप्शन या फिर कह सकते हैं कि एक इमेज और उस पे कुछ राइटिंग इस तरीके से लिखा जाता था राइट 
So try to understand this and try to solve. All right, that's good. That's very good. Okay, so let us see that what is the correct answer of this question. As I can see that many people have already answered. So guys, the correct answer is going to be option C, both one and two are correct, option C. So guys, IVC seals, we have all seen that Bostrophedon means what? Left to right and right to left. This type of writing is called Bostrophedon, alternate direction in the next line. Okay, so this writing is called Bostrophedon and we have also seen that Harappan seals have the description of the combined animals. Man plus animal, animal plus another animal. This type of description is common on the Harappan seals. Both are correct. Question number two for you. Related to the pottery of Harappa and the other times. It is here. Red and black pottery were found at Indus Valley sites. Ochre colored pottery belonged to the Iron Age culture. And IS was a term used for a copper during Vedic age. Statements which are incorrect, which are incorrect. Guys, many students miss this incorrect and they just read the question and solve it. Don't do this in examination. That is why I'm trying to make you to do more practice. 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, quickly solve this question and let us see that this is the second question. Who can get 10 on 10? Let us see who can get 10 on, get 10, on 10 marks. Yes, Chandra, that's correct one. That's correct one, Chandra, right? Kharoshti is written from right to left. That's good. So guys, good afternoon, Disha Joshi ji. Very good afternoon. Welcome to this class. Guys, those who have recently joined, fada fada se like kar do, ek bar to, fada fada like kar do. It will take just a few seconds of you and uh, try to solve this question. Those who have attended my classes, I have told them that we have a very sequential development of the pottery. I have told to them. Aap sab ko bhi bataunga, right? I will tell you all after this answer is told to you. Explanation part. Okay. Till then, try to answer this question very quickly. Shri Kutan, right? Then uh, Chikkamath, then Chandra. Shweta Gautam, Afreen, Sakshi, Ch uh, Disha, Rudra, all have answered. All have answered guys. So quickly make sure that those who have joined recently, try to answer and try to share this session with all our friends. Invite them also. Let us see who knows more, you or your friends. Let us see that. Okay. So today's questions are definitely going to be match, going to match the standards of UPSC like every week. So guys, let us see that how many of you are exactly prepared. All right. So let's check the answer of this question also. Question was asking that which is incorrect and answer is B. Guys, answer is B. Two and three are incorrect. Ochre colored pottery belonged to the Iron Age culture? No. Ochre colored pottery belonged to the Chalcolithic culture, my dear friends. Chalcolithic culture. Not to the Iron Age culture. IS was a term used for the copper during Vedic age? No. IS was the term used for the bronze. And Shyam IS. Which IS? Shyam IS. That was used for the iron during the Vedic age. That also during the later Vedic age. Clear everybody? Is it clear? But let us tell you something extra. right? So the sequence of pottery development is like that red pottery, then, then red and black or black on red, whatever you can call it. Okay. Then <clears throat> At the same time, ochre colored, pot, uh, ochre colored pottery was there. Then after that, there was the painted gray wares and slipped black wares. Okay. Then after that, there were northern black polished wares. All right. So guys, IVC, IVC, IVC and charcoal thick. Okay. Then 
this is a uh, rig vedic period right and later vedic period so vedic overall pgw and slip black wares and this is mahajanpad age and maurya age up to the post mauryan age in which in the post mauryan age my dear friends we see the development of the metallic potteries metallic potteries or you can sorry not metallic but you can call it the bullion potteries gold and silver were used for the pottery making not before not before the post mauryan age in harappa we had some bronze and copper potteries but not gold and silver pottery so this is how you should understand comprehensively third question my dear friends consider the following parts metal handicraft works and the region dokra casting kashmir pahaldar lamps jaipur parts of up gaj tandav tamil nadu and kerala which of the pairs above are correctly matched correctly matched one only one and two two and three third only so time starts now answer my dear friends answer answer kariye fatafat dekhte hain who can answer this question exactly on the lines of upsc we are asking it so guys this is a absolutely perfect practice for all of you try to solve this one. <coughs> try to solve this one everyone so try to solve this all right so rudra has already answered this one rudra has already answered that's good afreen ranadeep karmakar chandra spriha okay these three guys have answered rest of you फटाफट दिमाग लगाइए थिंक यूज योर ब्रेन्स अप्लाई योर ब्रेन्स गाइज स्टडी एम पी एटीन थैंक यू सो मच ब्रदर फॉर दैट यू कैन जस्ट यू कैन शेयर ऑल्सो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल राइट यू कैन शेयर इट ऑन योर चैनल ऑल्सो राइट गिविंग क्रेडिट टू दैट देन श्वेता गौतम हैज रिप्लाइड दैट्स गुड वेरी गुड ऑल एट गाइज then uh, av chikamath right av chikamath has also replied this one okay and uh, so guys very soon we are going to discuss the answer just a few seconds more and we we are going to discuss the answer of this one all right so disha joshi and shri kutan has also replied all right pragya jadhav madam okay let us check the answer of this question and it is going to be c option number c pahaldar lamps and gaj tandav they are correctly matched so guys let me tell you something extra about it so first of all talking about the dokra casting so guys this is the dokra casting right one community of the smith one community of the smiths called as ojha right they write the name ojha so ojha community is spread in the areas of up bihar right uh, in bengal in telangana in some parts of mp so basically almost you know, 30% of the parts of the country they make beautiful metal craft using the lost wax technique and this was in the news my dear friends the telangana the telangana dokra okay telangana dokra that was in the news because adilabad is a district in telangana the dokra of that place it got the gi tag gi tag in 2018 okay so this is why it is very important for all of us talking about the pahaldar lamps so this is how they look pahaldar lamps so guys we often have seen rajasthan in the up in punjab also in some other parts okay where we can see this type of decorative lamps okay mostly made up of made up of the paper craft or sometimes even the metal craft or the composite crafts now gaj tandav what is gaj tandav my dear friends gaj tandav is actually the depiction of the shiva dancing in the nataraja form and killing the gajasur or gaj danav 
so that is a very popular folk culture since the medieval ages and that is present mostly in tamil nadu karnataka kerala right these states okay so correct answer was correct answer was 2 and 3 okay they were matched now next question for you question number 4 everybody which of the following are categorized as the natural unesco world heritage sites in india so this type of questions are very common in the upsc examination unesco world heritage world heritage site but in natural category ajanta caves kaziranga national park kebul lamjao national park western ghats so you have to select the correct answer using the code given below 1 and 2 2 3 4 2 2 4 1 and 1 2 3 only right so try to choose the correct answer everybody right try to choose the correct answer everyone all right so i can see <clears throat> chandra has already replied very good very good chandra very good nilesh shelke so nilesh welcome to the session vinay kumar welcome to the session so guys you are slightly late so you have missed at least three questions but don't worry fatafat like kar dijiye manali madam quickly like the session and share this with all of your friends also so shri kutan has replied manali has replied pragya neeraj vinay all these have replied that's very good thing all right all right all right and uh, very soon if within a, within 20 seconds we are going to see the correct answer of this question all right so vine welcome to this first class that you are attending and i am sure that after this you will be attending every class because the questions are excellent going and they they are going to help you a lot right okay guys so let's check the answer of this question also okay let's check the answer Answer is going to be two and four only. Two and four only. All right. So guys, let me tell you the clear fact here. Kazi Ranga National Park and Western Ghats and Western Ghats. Right. So those are the natural uh, world heritage sites in India. Okay. Famous for their uh, natural heritage. right famous for their natural heritage however ajanta caves that is the cultural site and uh, the kebul lamjao national park that is not a site that is not a site however that is a very famous spot in india especially on the biodiversity map of india my dear friends where it is the only floating only floating national park and this is actually the part of the lok tak lok tak lake in the uh, bishnupur district of manipur right bishnupur district of manipur all right so that is important but the correct answer is option number c only 2 and 4 clear everyone next question for all of you so read this statement and try to find the correct choice so this art is hand painted as well as a block printed on a piece of cloth with vegetable dyes applied on the cloth it developed in the region around the masuri patnam under the patronage of vijayanagar rulers and later due to the proximity with the golconda kingdom it was also influenced by the persian motif and designs which of the following art fits in the description given above right इनमें से कौन सा सही डिस्क्रिप्शन में फिट बैठता है कालीघाट पेंटिंग्स कलमकारी पेंटिंग्स पट्ट चित्र पेंटिंग्स एंड फड़ पेंटिंग्स एंड फड़ पेंटिंग्स सो फीचर्स व्हिच वी हैव टू कीप इन द माइंड ब्लॉक प्रिंटेड एंड हैंड पेंटेड ब्लॉक प्रिंटेड हैंड पेंटेड वेजिटेबल डाइज क्लॉथ प्रिंटिंग मसूलीपट्टनम एरिया एंड गोलकुंडा एरिया राइट दीज थिंग्स द फीचर of which particular paintings guys very very simple 
मनाली मैडम मजुली आईलैंड राइट मजुली आईलैंड दैट डज नॉट हैव दिस राइट नेशनल पार्क दैट वॉज द लोकताक लेक इन मणिपुर दैट हैव द नेशनल पार्क ओके मजुली आईलैंड इज द डिफरेंट वन दैट इज अ डिफरेंट वन इन आसाम ओके गुड और राइट सो चंद्रा रणदीप मनाली दीज गाइज हैव रिप्लाइड दैट्स वेरी इंप्रेसिव Yes, Manali. That's correct. Shri Kutan has also replied. Rudra Mishra has also replied. Good one. That's good. Pragya, Neeraj, all have replied. All right, all right. That's good. so manali shweta disha nilesh okay guys so let's check the answer of this question also and the correct answer without any doubt it's going to be kalamkari painting of andhra pradesh telangana region my dear friends kalamkari painting i hope you remember this kalamkari painting right it is like this look at this one they are using the vegetable dyes to print on the cloth to make paintings on the cloth and they are also using the blocks as well so these type of see peacock right and other birds are printed these type of shapes right you can also see in some of the other examples you can also see the persian influence at least this type of uh, motifs are inspired from the persian mot okay persian influence can you can you compare this type of uh, floral motif with the petra dura petra dura in the persian style right so it is exactly similar rest we all know that kali ghat belongs to bengal kalam ka oh, sorry pat chitra belongs to odisha and third paintings belong to rajasthan all right so question number 6 for you consider the following statements regarding the ashokan pillars the musky rock edict was first discovered edict with the name ashoka for its patron these pillars also inspired by the persian tradition was raised on a platform with an inscribed shaft and capital at the top they were raised only to propagate buddhism and hence non violence so which of these are not correct not correct okay guys which of these are not correct yes tell me the answer of question number 6 everybody right okay 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 so good one all right guys so let us see how many of you are answering this one question number 6 for you question number 6 quickly so chandra has already answered sixth k okay, question chandra has already answered all right okay only chandra has answered till now why not others everyone all of you guys please answer this question so manali nilesh neeraj these guys have answered pragya radhadeep all right all right okay chandra are you sure about that so shri kutan and disha joshi have also answered this one all right guys okay 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 so uh, let's check the correct answer of this question also let's check the correct answer of this question also and it is going to be option number b not correct guys not correct question number uh, option number 2 and option number 3 that means option b this is the correct choice okay and why are we saying that because yes musky rock edict musky and gurjara musky gurjara and brahmagiri all right these rock edicts they provide us the they provide us the name called ashoka name called ashoka 
right also other rock addicts they usually have the they usually have the devanam piya right devanam piya piya the sea so chandra maski and gurjara inscriptions are famous only because they provide the name ashoka and this is correct one right so this statement is correct so one should not be in the choice so here and here it is not possible talking about the third so they were raised only to propagate buddhism that is obviously incorrect not only to propagate buddhism but to propagate the dhamma so buddhism should be replaced by dhamma then pillars are also inspired by persian tradition raised on a platform right guys platform was not there the pillars were there and that were the monolithic pillars monolithic pillars okay shaft and capital it was having it but platform was not there so monolithic capital was there option number b so this is the persian pillar here guys look at this persian pillar and uh, in persian pillar we had the different type of animal motifs which were mostly imaginary animals and different type of the different type of the uh, structures were also there whereas in the ashokan pillars you can see this one it's absolutely simple and plain monolithic pillar right with a shaft with the embellishment or a bacchus with the base and the and the lion capital or any other animal capital clear now question number 7 for you buddhist images of mathura school of art are mainly in the two postures standing and sitting among the sitting idols the one found at the katra mound near mathura is one of the oldest the characteristics of this idol are buddha is sitting under the bodhi tree the right hand is in abhay posture dharma chakra is chiseled in the palms the head is shaven except for one lock so select the correct answer using the codes given below 1 and 2 only 1 and 4 1 to 3 1 to 3 4 which one is correct guys i think all of you must have seen that one very famous buddha in the sitting posture in mathura style even in my classes i had shown you that picture try to answer everybody try to answer pragya it was yes it was inspired from the akimenian pillars that is good that is good but that actually did not that actually did not copy the construction of this all right so now chandra does not know the answer okay manali says uh, c is the correct option all right vaskar ghosh jignesh panchal welcome guys to this uh, class फटाफट लाइक कर दीजिए एज सुन एज यू हैव ज्वाइंट एंड शेयर दिस ऑन एवरी प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू वेर वेर यू आर राइट नीरज भगत श्री कुटन दैट्स गुड श्वेता गौतम हैज रिप्लाइड ऑल राइट ओके सो लेट एस ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एंड 15 seconds more right 15 seconds more for this question so disha joshi madam is saying answer c i can see many people are many people are actually agreeing on answer c guys the correct answer for this question is going to be option number d not the option number c why look at this image look at this image now here can you see any any locks or something like that can you see any except one at the center the whole head seems to be absolutely plain absolutely plain just see this image here in the palms the dhamma chakra is chiseled okay dhamma chakra is chiseled clear right hand is in abhay mudra abhay mudra remember abhay mudra Buddha is sitting under the Bodhi tree. Look at this tree in the background, guys. The people tree, the branches of the people tree. Here, halo behind Buddha is there, and 
two bodhisattvas right two bodhisattvas named right named padmapani and vajrapani right padmapani and vajrapani they are guarding buddha and buddha's feet are also having the dhamma chakra chiseled on their feet palms and buddha is wearing a thin drapery that is transparent buddha looks very fluffy and healthy and also the animal images of lion are there clear so this is i think this image must have been seen by everybody isn't it so guys moving to question number 8 that is uh, recently seen in the news the miyawaki method is now guys miyawaki method is related to a specific culture that is important nowadays and becoming very popular in india so a method of forestation method of reusing and recycling old paper to make new products is the japanese art of repairing broken pottery by mending the areas of breakage with the lacquer dusted or mixed with powdered gold a method of urban rainwater harvesting question number 8 for you let us see sometimes sometimes you know sometimes the questions like this appear in the exam so janvi mishra welcome to the session and uh, try to answer this question right try to answer this question guys so manali has already answered manali is uh, in a very quick update so vaskar shrikutan all have answered this one so many people among you must be aware about that japanese art you know that gold is just fitted in that cracks of the pottery and that looks very beautiful isn't it so is it that or is it rainwater harvesting or uh, forestation what is exactly try to answer this one and guys try to attempt all the questions from the beginning till the end so i can see that uh, a few people have attempted a few questions but not all the questions all right so have that fighting spirit guys fighters never lose fighters never say right never say lose so all right okay okay so nilesh has replied disha has replied neeraj ranadeep pragya all have replied this one okay all right guys so let's check the answer of this question here and uh, shweta has also replied but shweta does not know the answer correct answer is going to be option a that is the method of forestation right a forestation we know guys that nowadays it's becoming very popular that urban forestry is becoming very popular right urban forestry is becoming very very popular so what is uh, how is this practiced here basically tropical forests are the tropical pattern of the forest where the four different categories are there four different categories are there clear the shrubs and the grasses are there so grasses and shrubs then small trees are uh, trees are there or bushes you can call it then you, there is the there are large trees and canopies and canopies okay so this is how every single area every single square meter is planted with four five saplings all right and the overall result that is that is a dense forest developed uh, developed in the small area in a small area and what happens cultivate under the nets designed to cut out 40% of the sunlight for 1 to 2 months so guys the similar pattern of the tropical rainforest is developed under the miyawaki method introduced by japanese introduced by japanese clear so moving to question number 9 with reference to the temple philosophy in india which of the following statements are correct so how many of you have studied class 11th an introduction to fine arts guys you will be able to solve this question very clearly temples in india symbolize sacred geography that is the sacred land of the donor king okay temples in india symbolize the systematic reconstruction of the universe and its principles temples in india symbolize the fusion of the earthly life and spiritual life 
which of the correct answers are there 2 and 3 1 and 3 only 2 1 to 3 guys if you have attended my classes or if you have the you know read the class 11th ncrt fine arts you will definitely answer this question very correctly everybody try to solve this one try to solve this one so manali has generalized the opinion that is uh, one two three all are correct according to manali good and uh, others try to answer this one nilesh also agrees that uh, d should be the answer shri kutan and uh, see kalyani says that b should be the answer pragya says d janvi says for a disha joshi answer d Chandra answer D, Jignesh answer A. All right, that's good thing. Good. Neeraj says answer B. All right. Okay, guys. So almost uh, one minute is complete for this question also. So let us check the correct answer of this question, and uh, it is going to be option number A. Option number A. Very simple. Guys, temples in India symbolize the sacred geography. Come on, how is it possible? Was that the sacred land of the donor king? Answer is no. That was not the sacred land. That was the, that was the simply donated or simply grant, granted land. No clause of any secrecy or something was mentioned. Guys, we have studied the land distribution or land grants, etc. in so much detail, right? So, I think nobody should do the mistake on that part if you are watching my lectures. Okay. Second and third are obviously correct one, right? Because the temples symbolize the universe and the principle, right? The whole dome, the shikharas and the vimana, they symbolize the, the Meru, okay? Meru mountain, Meru parvat. And this is the abode of the god. I have discussed many, many a times that temples are the place, they are the house of the God. Temples are universe and God is located at the center of that universe. Sanctum, sanctorum. Remember? And yes, they symbolize the fusion of bodily life, material life or earthly life, whatever you call it, and spiritual life. Clear? So, A is the choice. Last question for you. Everybody try to think, apply your brain and let us see that how many of you answer correctly. Which of the following types of pottery was discovered at the Indus Valley Civilization sites? Goblets, dish container on the stand, zoomorphic containers, perforated jars. So select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 and 2 only, 1, 2 and 4, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3 and 4. The time starts now. You have one minute to answer this question. Let us see how many of you are able to answer this question correctly. Okay, Manali, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So what is uh, what is your optional, Manali? All right. So try to solve this one. Question number 10, all of you. Question number 10, all of you. So, goblets, those who don't know the goblets, so let me tell you, goblets are basically those, you know, glasses, those glasses to, you know, drink, etc. that we very often we see, that is goblet. All right. So, Sri Kutan has answered D, Manali has answered B, and uh, Chikkamat has answered A, and uh, Janvi has answered C. Randeep has answered C. All right. Jignesh has answered D. Chandra has also answered D. Okay, that's a good one. Shweta has also answered D. All right, guys. So, Nilesh has also answered D. So, I can see many people are answering it D. And uh, let's check the correct answer of this question also. It's obviously going to be option number D. Why? Look at this. Don't you see that there are the goblets, right? These are the goblets, right? This is the goblet, okay? That one glass with 
a base here and uh, the pot here okay this type of glass is called goblet so we have this type of glasses and then zoomorphic okay zoomorphic okay then we also have the perforated jars right we also have the perforated jars in this clear so these jars are perforated jars okay these are perforated jars perforated jars means having the uh, having the small passages okay the perforates the perforations are there to allow the brewing process brewing okay that is the fermentation then dish container on the stand right dish container on the stand we can see this one right we can see here dish container on the stands so different potteries i think that is not picturized here but that is uh, definitely found in the harappans where we have the stand and uh, on that some dish container is kept all right guys so all options are correct okay so look at these are these are also some other uh, potteries so basically the i was trying to show the goblet so this is the goblet clear now so guys don't forget to take the screenshot of this one because uh, this is a very important scheduling for all of you and before we move ahead quickly tell me your scores how many of you scored 10 on 10 or at least 7 on 10 because today's paper was exactly a standard paper so let us see those who have scored 7 on 10 guys you need you deserve an applause okay you deserve an applause and those who have scored less than 4 or less than 5 guys you need to study very hard all right and every day 1 pm we are bringing this series for all of you right so don't forget to attend this one and other series also those who are targeting 2022 we are bringing special package for you uh, at 8 pm every day right and guys currently we are running the crash course for the prelims examination 2021 in both the lang languages hindi and english and also the foundation course for GS in Hindi and English as well. So pre come mains. And those who are targeting EPFO, they can join this revision course batch starting from 3rd March. All right. Anybody having any questions, queries, doubts, complaints or anything wants to convey to our team, they can call on this number 965005294. And guys, you can subscribe to the Grade Up Super and also participate in the February Mela. You can also take the uh, you know advantage of the price cuts and we the faculties will be more than happy to teach you guys all right so i just say everybody that uh, please uh, you can also subscribe to the grid up super and you can also join us live on telegram so please don't miss this telegram link have live sessions with us and also share the study materials short notes are also possible in that so guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and uh, let us see who topped this session. Alright, so Manali 7, okay, 4 on 7, Chandra 8 on 10, that's very good one. Shri Kutan, Disha correct answers 5, Pragya 6 and uh, Chikmat got 6. Alright, so well done guys. I can see that uh, Manali has appeared only 7th question, 7 questions, so might be possible that she would have got even more. So, well done everybody. Don't forget to share this session with your friends. By share Karna Sapke Saath. Share with everybody. I expect that at least today, more than 100 people should watch it. Alright. Today itself within 2 hours. Okay guys. So, all the best. Let's meet afterwards. And don't forget to join me on 6pm. Previous year questions of science. I will be bringing on application. Right. On the grade up app grade up app okay thank you everyone and have a great day bye bye and take care